There are places in a community that help us remember our history. A building, a street, a park, a home. And here in Fresno, the Odd Fellows Mausoleum in historic Mountain View Cemetery is one of those special places. For generations, families chose this as their final resting place. The building was built in 1918 in the uh, Greek Revival style. Uh, it's seen uh, quite a bit of damage due to, due to moisture and rain uh, uh, infiltration in the building. The style of the building was, was representative of uh, a history and a culture that signified uh, longevity and strength. I believe the mausoleum is about 10,000 square feet, roughly, and there's uh, at least 400 crypts, 500 people total, but 400 crypts and then about 100 spaces for uh, uh, the urns and remains. It was 140 years ago this month of March that the Union Pacific, Central Pacific Railroad finally made the trek over the San Joaquin River, headed for this direction, headed for this place we call Fresno. Uh, in Fresno County, we have a lot of historic buildings that uh, have existed for a very long time. This one is, is noted for its architecture. Well, the style of building was, was representative of a history and a culture that signified uh, longevity and strength. And that's the, the idea of building the mausoleum, was to exemplify those things for the people who are going to be interned here. I'm going to talk about is a little bit about the people that are in the mausoleum. Uh, most famous one that probably people will know about is uh, A.G. Wishon. He, he started San Joaquin Power and Light Company. Now, A.G. Wishon went on to become a part of a stepping stone of power companies that culminated in the name we all know, PG&E. The Pacific Gas and Electric Company. So he was a, a real powerhouse here in the uh, here in the community and really all throughout California. He had a lovely home um, in uh, on one of the main boulevards in Fresno and had the distinction Huntington Boulevard, by the way. And there's always been the distinction that um, A. G. Wishon had the first outdoor Christmas tree with electric lights on it in the nation on Huntington Boulevard. So that's kind of a, a fun part of the story. One of the stories that is so much a part of Fresno history is that of the Woodward family. Oscar James Woodward showed up in Fresno as a youngish banker, uh, financier in the mid 1880s, right at the time when the city of Fresno was really taking off. And he chose to become involved with the banking system, which was key to the agricultural development here in Fresno. We had a very sophisticated um, multiple bank system by the mid 1880s to serve the needs of agribusiness. O.J. Woodward uh, served as the president of the First National Bank, which was also one of those beautiful, impressive Victorian brick buildings on Fulton Street and Mariposa in Fresno. A family associated with another major early industry in this region of California is the Music family. 
because James Music, when he came to, again, in the, in the early 1880s, when he came to this part of California, went right up to the mountains and started buying logging land. So the Music family um, helped to develop this area of California because they ran a huge logging operation from the Sierra Nevada in the Pine Ridge area. Now, if you, if you are familiar with that area, you know there's something called Music Meadows today. Well, indeed, that's named after James Music. His son, Charles Music, was a very important person in developing and then administering the Fresno Flume and Irrigation District. One of the main things that we found was that the, a lot of the roof drains were clogged and, or broken, or mostly clogged. Um, and water was building up to ex uh, extreme points on the roof and getting in through the skylights and in different areas that, of the building that um, would allow the water to come in and get into some of the uh, main areas. It's done some damage to the interior plaster as well as some of the exterior stonework on the building as well. Um, the skylights are, are quite amazing and those are going to be a big restoration project as well. Uh, they're stained glass and uh, multiple panels. And they're, they're just, uh, some of them are in really good shape and some of them have really seen uh, a lot better days and, and really need some severe repair. But the whole building is, is really reminiscent of a, uh, a, a great style of architecture that you don't see much around here. Um, we'll hopefully find out um, where this falls in mausoleum construction history in California and hopefully that's, we believe this might be a significant uh, building in that history as well. At one time, there are 130 niches that are in the mausoleum in order to put urns and people's remains, cremated remains. Right now, there are probably only 20 urns in the mausoleum. They're going through the records trying to determine how many of them may have been stolen because the urns were brass and probably a lot of them were taken for, to, to turn in for brass. Uh, when we determine who, who was supposed to be where, they're going to make name plates and place them. Even if they can't get representatives of the original urns, they're going to get name plates and put them up. Um, th that was probably the worst vandalism. Nobody ever broke in. If you've been out here, as I've been here, to see a child reach down, touch a name on a headstone that was perhaps their great-great-grandmother or grandfather, and all of a sudden, a hundred years go by and that child makes a connection. There are people recorded in history books, but everybody out here is recorded in the heart of some family member. They were loved, they had a life, and they left a heritage behind. That's why we're rebuilding the mausoleum. 1919, dedicated, one of the third oldest in California. It's a place of pride. In a sense, it's a promise to the future we're making here today. That somebody can come out here, children, school children, come out here and learn the history of not only their nation, but of their community. And that way, Fresno can become a community. It all starts here. This is not a place of the dead. It's very much a place of the living. There's a lot of things that need to be done. They can be done and Fresno can do this. Give a proper representation for this time period and era um, in Fresno's history. So join us in this quest. Join us in this promise to the future. Thank you so much.